What is going on guys, 2.0 here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my Nightfall loot results for this past week. It has been a while since we've done one of these on the channel but the introduction of the Icebreaker from that Nightfall bounty means that the Nightfalls to me have become much more interesting as we do now have something to chase from them. So first I ran it over on my Hunter and here I was rewarded with a Skeleton Key as it was my first Nightfall completion of that week. And then for my main reward I got 20 Strange Coins. Not much more you can say about that really but I am happy to take even more Strange Coins so that is not too bad at all. My Titan was next and unfortunately no Icebreaker from the bounty but I did get an LDR from it so this drop with Grenadier and Outlaw, Skip Round, Snapshot and Casket Mag down the middle and then it also has Short Gaze as one of the scopes so not the best roll in the world, certainly not better than my Triple Tap, Casket Mag and Spray and Play LDR, that one's absolutely insane but it was 400 attack so there's some extra infusion fuel for my special weapons if I do decide not to keep this LDR. Then for my main reward over here on the Titan, I got the Anton's Rule Sidearm at 400 attack, so there's even more special weapon infusion fuel there, as well as a 2015 Winter Emote Pack. These already came out over a year ago, which is absolutely crazy to think about, but this might not seem like too great of a reward at first glance, but when I opened it up, it gave me the Facepalm Emote, which I did actually consider buying for quite a while with Silver, so I am glad that I didn't in the end, because I ended up getting it for free from this Nightfall run. Now all we need is that Emote Wheel, so we can can actually make use of all these awesome emotes properly. I really hope that that is something that gets implemented soon. It would definitely be a great improvement to the game, along with all the other brilliant improvements that we've received with this most recent update. Can't forget about those, but I'd love to see an emote wheel implemented into the game at some point soon. And then finally, over on my Warlock, my reward here was a 400 defense Vanguard Ghost Shell. I do now have plenty of Max Light Ghosts from Archon's Forge and Iron Banner. Those two activities have me Ghost Shells almost as much as Shax gives me Lord High Fixes, which is a lot. So that last reward was a little bit pointless, but overall 20 Strange Coins, two 400 Attack Special Weapons, the Face Palm Emote and a Ghost Shell. Not the best week I've ever had, but to be honest, it was one of the most enjoyable weeks of Nightfalls in a long time for a number of reasons in my opinion. I've been wanting the Nexus Strike to return for ages now, so to have that back is awesome and it was pretty much a given that it would be the Nightfall for the first week of the Dawning event. Also, the addition of the Year 3 Icebreaker, only obtainable through completing Nightfall Bounties, for me, brings the Nightfall back as an activity that you really want to complete every single week, and it provides that chase that we haven't had for a while now, and that strike scoring is also a fun twist on all of the strikes in general too. So, not the greatest rewards I've ever had, and no Icebreaker after 3 attempts, but I am really looking forward to running my 3 Nightfalls again at the next reset, and hopefully my luck improves for then, not only for the main rewards, but also even more so for the bounties, as I do really want to get that icebreaker back again. But let me know down below in the comments what you got from your Nightfall runs for this week. Also, did you get an icebreaker from any of your bounties? Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you did as well. But that's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. So if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, so it really does help the channel out. Follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description below. Subscribe if you're new around here so you don't miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.